everyone, this is Eli, and today I'm going to be making this wooden binder. Enjoy! So, I'm going to just start this build off with um, a binder that I got from Walmart. This is a one and a half inch binder. It's called a durable binder, which I've, I'm not really sure if it's that durable because it is made just out of cardboard. But um, the binder clip looks pretty good. And about a year ago, I did make a video um, of making a wooden binder, which is actually this one. I brought it to the shop. It lasted me the whole year, and I'm still going to keep on using it. I'm basically going to be making one of these, but an updated version. So, instead of using these nails, I'm going to be using rivets which will be way stronger and will last longer and actually look cooler and I'm also going to be um, using a different binder clip I'm, and I'm also going to be putting rivets in the handle which I did on this one and I'm just going to be doing an updated version I'm also just going to clean it up and make it hopefully look a lot cooler so now I'm just going to get started by using a drill and drill bit and just drill out rivets on the um, on the binder clip and hopefully just get them out and then we can go from there So I just cut my front and back pieces at 12 inches wide and now I'm going to cut them 11 and a half inches long and I also cut a spine of the binder which is two and three quarters wide and I'm about to cut it 12 inches long. So I just cut the uh, front and the back panels of the binder and also the spine and they're all exactly the same size So now um, the wood from Lowe's it comes and it's a little bit um, rough and kind of has little marks on it Just from shipping and stuff at Lowe's so I'm just gonna use this 120 grit sandpaper on this orbital sander And I'm just going to sand front back and spine of the binder Okay everyone, so all the wood is sanded. It's really nice and smooth and looks great. So now I just need to cut some leather for the um, hinges and also the strap and the handle. So I have this buffalo hide, this water buffalo hide. And from when I was making lots of binders, I made this one and a half inch strip of the same plywood as I made the binder faces with. So um, what I do is I take this strip of plywood, set it right against the edge of the buffalo hide, and then uh, push down on the piece of wood. Then I used to use this box cutting knife, and I just cut right along the uh, plywood, and it makes a perfect one and a half inch strip of buffalo hide. So I have a nice one and a half inch strip of this buffalo hide and I also just cut an extra one just so I'd have enough and now I'm just going to be uh, gluing it with CA glue onto the front of the binder with one and a half inches coming out of the binder on top of it and I'm just going to have three straps individually um, separated equally on the front face. I'm just going to put a little bit around the edges then I will drill with a eighth inch drill bit, four holes on it and then put rivets in. So now that they're CA glued on, I can just drill four holes and put rivets in.
I know it's super fast, so it's just crazy. But uh, now I'm just gonna put two more rivets on each piece of leather, 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 leather on the spine. So I'm just gonna drill quarter, I mean eighth inch holes and see if the uh, rivets will actually work that way, so. So I just glued on the big part of the hinge on the spine with just with some CA glue. Now I'm just gonna put on the back part um, of the binder. So it's gonna be sitting on top of this spine. And all I'm gonna do is just put some CA glue right where the leather and the back are gonna touch and on the top and then cut the leather and hit two top rivets on each piece of leather and then the binder will basically almost be finished. The hinges are completely on. I have the front rivets, the side rivets, and also these other rivets I just put on. They're glued on and basically just like a foldable. It can just fold back and forth. So now I'm just gonna put a handle so you can carry the binder by a handle just like this one. As you can see, it just has a handle. And I'm just gonna do the same amount of rivets. I'm just gonna do two and two, so equals four. And I'm just gonna make it a handle, basically. binder has a handle and the hinges are good I need to make them a uh, magnet clasp which will consist of a leather strap and a, uh, two neodymium magnets one in the leather and one in the wood so that whenever um, you put the magnets together it holds the binder from um, opening all the way up so I'm just gonna use this other scrap piece of leather and just cut a, a half inch wide piece about 10 inches long and then we can cut it to fit I'm on the back of the binder and right where it opens up and I'm just gonna uh, find the middle of the binder and then have about an inch and a half of this strap hanging on the binder and I'm just gonna put CA glue under there and it should secure it great. Okay, so now I'm just gonna find the maximum opening point where I want the binder, and then I'm just gonna fold the leather over, mark it, cut it, put the two magnets in, and then... magnet is now enclosed into the leather and now I'm just gonna take a half inch Forstner bit which is the same diameter as the magnets and just drill a hole right on the edge so that this magnet can sit counter sunk into the front of the uh, binder and the thing will latch together. Everyone, so I just glued in the magnet and it fit really um, flush with the wood and looks really nice and the other side clips right in and as you can see it prevents it from opening any further than that. So now that 
got the whole binders dry and it's all coated in a couple layers of lacquer and it should be protected by almost all of the school things that would happen by like putting it in and out of your binder and on desks. So now I'm going to just uh, rivet in the binder clip so that it'll stay in there and the binder will be finally finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you like this video. This video turned out great and the project also turned out great. This um, version two of this wooden binder I made turned out way better than the first one. It's a lot more durable and stronger and you can be free to customize it however you want. You can put any letter in the circle, any words on the binder and feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Thank you guys again for watching. Catch you on the next video.